how valuable it is for you to come here. Um, you know, I was I was reading the other day about successful people, and I found something else very interesting about successful people. They have roughly 24 hours in a day. <laughs> then I kept reading, and I found out that unsuccessful people also roughly have about 24 hours in a day. Pretty interesting, huh? So what is the difference between success and not having success? It comes down to time management. It comes down to time management. And I'm happy you're all here today because your time is valuable. You know, they say time is money. It absolutely is true time is money. And, and, you know, by you coming here, I hope that I give you some information, that you gain maybe a little bit of knowledge, that there's something that will resonate with you that you may be able to use, maybe not now, maybe not later, but some other time that'll hit you. So I really appreciate you coming here because time is valuable. Now, I want to talk about change. That's what I really want to talk about. I want to about ch talk about change. And... The fear of change. A lot of people have fear of changing. Who's here, who's here who is happy and content where they are right now in their life? Wouldn't change a thing. Wouldn't change, would you want to be in the same place you are a year from now? Would you want to be the same place you are two years from now, five years from now? I'm going to be happy to be exactly where I am right now. We all need to grow and change. It's how we get better in life. What's the reason you want to be here? What's the re reason we live? And looking at and change, I like what Theodore Roosevelt, our president, said about change. The best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing you can do is the wrong thing. But the worst thing you can do <coughs> is nothing. So change is out there. And we have to accept change. And if we don't accept change, it may be the change you don't want to see. I just read Jack Welch's book, and he talked about control your own destiny or someone else will. What would you rather have? Would you rather have control in your own life, changing the way you want to go, or have someone else? We get pushed and prodded every day, every day by change. And we have to accept change. But you have to be proactive in change. And how can you help yourself grow? Who here has a library card? Who here uses it? Okay. <laughs> how much does a library card cost? Free. Free. Oh, my God. Talk about information and knowledge to grow who you are, to get better in your life, your personal relationship, your business relationships. Free. Free. But a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people don't do that. You know, I find it interesting. You know how many books a year the average American reads? Six. Six books. You know how many, for the percent of Americans who do not read a book in a year? 20% of Americans do not read a book a year. How about exercise? What's the average weekly exercise of an American in a year? Two hours, two hours a week. Two hours a week. How about daily TV consumption? Four hours a day. Six hours a day. Six, over 65, it's nine hours a day of TV. There is a lot of time for us to take control. There are things that we can do to take control. But I want to make this interactive. The reason I like doing these is that I'm able to get information from all of you. Because you're all experts in your business. You all have seen changes. And how you deal with the change is important. And I'm going to give you a quick example of myself. You know, I'm, I'm, part of me is in the insurance industry. And a little over three years ago, healthcare reform. Oh my God, it was the end of the world. Three years ago, health insurance agents looking at their lives saying, I'm going to have to switch careers. I'm going to have to do something else. 2011 comes. Oh my God, it's getting closer. 2012. Well, it's here now. 
and a lot of these agents have left. They haven't changed. There's a fear. They have a fear of change. I look at it as an opportunity. Why? Because everyone who I couldn't help in the past, who, is, who couldn't get insurance because of pre-existing conditions, that all goes away. All of a sudden, everybody's insurable. It's an opportunity. It, you have to think about how you look at the change. Now I want to call on some people and get what in your businesses you've all had to deal with some change. And I want to see how effective you have been and the changes that have gone on in your business and what you have done to change. And also, if I cut you off, don't take offense to it because I want to get as many people as I can. So I'm going to try to facilitate this. So Bob, you get up, you get 20 seconds get to four, tell us. I'm in a close <laughs> retirement career. I was in manufacturing, telecom, video conferencing, and I saw Skype coming. Couldn't stand retirement. I made it through three weeks. And I decided I wanted to do something that was different. And I, my motto has always been morph or die. So what I did is I said, hey, at my age, I'm going to try something that never did before. I did face-to-face -face selling, and it worked. So that's what change. Saw. I used to own a truck with a straight six. Yep. You could fit four people in that mm -hmm. hood, uh, that Working engine at the same time. compartment. But now, forget it. You can't. What changes have you, well, you, you know, adapted? Well, one first one is coming here. Uh, <laughs> you know, when I met Randall, we I was kind of stuck in my own environment. Uh, met Randall. Actually, I, I've hired you guys to do the training that I used to be able to do. But now, since I'm shaking hands and kissing babies with my customers all the time, I can't train my own people right in front of me. So that, that change of me doing it myself normally is now outsourcing to you guys to get it done to make sure it happens so that every person my customers talk to is ready to go. Right. I apologize for that. That's fantastic. No, I appreciate it. How about you? Um, well, you know, we, we, we heard uh, an, an ex we know of an expletive that begins with SH, and the reality is that shift actually happened, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, shift is a fan. And, um, uh, you know, in my, in my company, they had gotten off to a, a roaring good start seven, eight years ago. Uh, and, and uh, built a nice client base, um, brought in salespeople that didn't necessarily have a strong sales background, and then once the industry got a little competitive, they, they held on to their critical best customers, but the salespeople started floundering, you know, because of increased competition. So they realized they need to do something different because they were busy managing accounts, so that's why they brought me <coughs> in to, to help, bring, to help uh, hire uh, sales reps that had a little bit of industry background but didn't mind getting in front of people. And that's what we do at, at Spiral City. What camera is the most used camera in the world right now, taking the most pictures every day? The red button. So, Tony, how are you still in business? <laughs> Explain that to me. Uh, it's like the old Kodak Brownie. Everybody's got their Hender Brownie back in the day of film. Now they have the digital camera, which is on their phone. All I do is I teach them how to use it better. That's one thing that I do in my business. I've added, added, added education. Uh, I take my experience, give it to them in a, in a classroom environment, and help them, even with these phones, take better pictures with these phones. That's how I uh, add services and, and value and my clients. Value. Also, also have, have, you know, in your industry, why would I go to you? Why not Vistaprint? Why not Staples? Why? You would go to how have you changed? Our business has changed dramatically and in some essences has stayed the same. And the way we keep customers now is actually the same exact way we used to keep them. Technology has made it an extremely competitive world. People will go and try the new guy because they'll undercut me by 10 cents an item. And you know what? They have trouble. They don't know who they're doing business with. They call me and say, I know this is terrible, Bonnie, but is there any way you can help me out of this? I end up calling my competitor. I've done this twice to help straighten something out for them. They never go anywhere but me again after that. It, it comes down to relationships and customer service. Yeah, hot on the left, cold on the right. And goes downhill, yeah. <clears throat> um, we changed a lot because we're constantly being um, uh, inundated with federal regulations, state regulations, and our code is constantly <coughs> changing. 
So what we do is we stay up with manufacturer, um, our manufacturers of products. We go to all their training classes. We, um, one of our, our big uh, hot water, we go to um, Asheville City in Tennessee uh, twice a year for training. We, um, and we read. All my guys, everybody that works for me gets the trade magazines. They're free, and they're supposed to read it. And then we talk about articles constantly. So there's wow. always training and Excellent, updating the education. Mm -hmm. I didn't okay. start banking until my late 40s, and it was a whole new career for me. And basically what I learned is everything I've done wrong in my entire life when it came to money. So what I've learned is people don't know what they don't know. Mm -hmm. And I am passionate about teaching them. I have a lot of life experience, a lot of things, family things, traumas. But I also listen to all my clients and what they've been through and what are those solutions, which makes me a really good banker because I'm able to help people with life decisions. Change happens to all of us. I want to be proactive in my life, in my business, in my personal relationships, with my diet, with exercising, with everything. And how do you do that? <coughs> Educate yourself. Turn the TV off for an hour. Go take the walk around the block. Eat healthy foods. Don't stop at McDonald's to grab a quick bite. It's the simple things in life. I love what Jim Rohn says. Imagine if, imagine if an apple a day is all it took. Thank you very much for your time.